for its beautiful night for hockey. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Let's get it going tonight. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Yellow Jackets take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And the puck skips away after that move. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Receives the pass. Sacrifices the body to lock it. it. Turn that chance aside. And he takes a shot. Oh, wow, stops him again. I thought he was going to beat the goaltender there, James. This is his spot on the ice where he's most dangerous, but he's turned away with a good save. Puts it on goal. Slotted aside by the blocker. Slides it up front. Tries Don't to the worry, boys, I'm on it. Fantastic save. I don't think he's trying to do that, but lucky the masks are the way they are made today, James. That one doesn't hurt probably as much as it did 15 years ago. Puck cleared from the defensive end. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Moves it up. Can't connect on the pass. And he's able to handle that one. Takes the puck behind the net. What the save! Knocks him against the boards. That's a great hit. I love the way that he took the ice away and slammed him into the wall. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Back underway as he wins the try inside Don't worry, the offensive boys, zone. I'm on it. His reflexes on display tonight. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Takes it across the blue line. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Sends the pass over. Oh, what a block! He might have a step here. And doesn't go. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. There's the whistle, and it's a penalty shot. truth you don't see that very often as the official blows the play dead and both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone streaking he's got a step he scores in close one of the game's better shooters you cannot leave him alone he does not miss there James, watching this a second time, I'm amazed at how close he can get to the net, yet still be able to deliver this puck as accurately he does. One of the best shooters in the league, this tight to the net. Penalty shot coming up after the stoppage in play. And the moment of truth has arrived. Big opportunity here. He scores! He tied it up! He tied it up! That's such a great move. I mean, the way that he's able to dangle around the defender, he's known for that, and a terrific finish on the net. He stick handles so well, guys, and that goal is how he can create something out of nothing. It's his puck on a string zone ability, and he finished off that sequence, making it look so easy. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Here we go. And I'm not quite sure what the hope was on that. James, you said it. He was in all alone. Now he's going to skate out all alone because he doesn't get anything out of that breakaway attack. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. 
There wasn't much room there, but that's a snappy release. It beats the goalie low on the glove side. Here in the late goings of the period, the Grizzlies are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Vancouver's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. To his teammate. And that's deflected. Passes the puck over. Here's a breakaway. Trout on their feet. Denied. I don't know what more could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. Penalty shot coming up after that whistle. And it's go time. Comes up big with the save. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And that puck leaves the zone. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Yellow Jackets probably a little bit unlucky in that initial frame. They controlled most of the possession, but they trail by a goal. Poked away in the offensive end. Quick shot. Blocked in traffic. But the save. Boom! Man, sometimes you just can't get out of the way. But for him, it's been all night. He's been on the receiving end of these types of hits. Makes a move in front. There's the whistle, and here comes the penalty shot. And here he comes from center. And we are tied. Oh, beauty. This is where I got a lot of my goals, James. You can't fiddle around with a puck there. On the stick, off the stick, and it's in the cage. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. White Bear Lake's got the puck along the wall. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's an offensive chance. Denies him on the play. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We are all tied up in this one. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Tries to make that cross ice feed. Knocked off the puck. Jersey's got it in the offensive end. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Here comes the goaltender to play the puck outside the crease. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. With the backhand. Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Here's a chance on the doorstep. And that's broken up. The Grizzlies take possession in the defensive end. You'll need more than that to beat them. 
The play doesn't die on his stick, James. There's always a next play for him because he works his way around the defenders. He's got a good chance here again, but the goalie makes a good save. Great stretch passes and connects. Here's the pass. Stoppage and play. Here comes a penalty shot. And the shooter lines up. Here we go. Comes up with a huge stop. He was right on the move there. Past the halfway mark of this period, Vancouver's got a one-goal lead. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Fails to find the open man. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. Oh, what a save. Really good effort. I thought he made a, a good play on the net, but the goaltender's right on top of it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Slides it across. Through pass ahead. There's the whistle. It's a penalty shot. And here we go. Well, I think he'd love a mulligan on this one, but he won't get one. Here in the later stages of this period, 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. And they won't connect on that one. White Bear Lake's got a hold of it against the wall. Passed up ahead. What the save? Oh, what's the word I'm looking for in that? It's the Soren. Oh, you got it. Truculent? Yeah, I know you were ready to fire that up. That is a big hit. And I knew you were digging for that one. He scores! There's the hat trick, and here come the hats. Man, it is loud in here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. The Yellow Jackets have made their way back to center ice with now a little breathing room, a two-goal lead late in the second. After the initial rush on the bench, the coach was down and back on the bench, reminding everybody, don't take any time off. Let's get to the intermission where we are. Here he is, wristed on the He scores! A buzzer beater before the end of the frame. Well, this will be a great piece of video for the coaches to show in the intermission. How they got after the puck, they stayed with it and scored so late in this period. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Vancouver's offensive volcano continues to erupt here in the second period. They look like a juggernaut. They're running into this second intermission with a large lead. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Looks like he's on the limp here a little bit. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Takes the feed. Vancouver's got him along the wall. Whoa. Scores! And there it is. That's 200 career goals in his EASHL career. I love watching him play because he gets to the net. He can score in tight. He can score from distance. A real true goal scorer now at 200 goals. He's starting to make a mark around the league as one of the game's better scorers. 
from one point man to another. And they can convert to the play. Chris one in close. And that's blocked away. No one home on that play. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Great stick lift to end that play. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Hits an on man rush. Two on one. Sends it over. And a great save. The Grizzlies have it now. Into the in all alone on the breakaway. And he easily stops that one. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. save. He got robbed again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Scooped up along the wall by Kachuk. Oh, there was some TNT with that cut the save. There. Yeah, that wasn't just going to rub somebody out of the plate. He's known for this. If he's got an opportunity to blow somebody up, he's going to do it. That was a big hit. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. And that's turned aside. Vancouver's oh, grabbing hold of the puck. Denies the shooter on that play. Misses over the net. White Bear Lake's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to I set up now. Scores! What finish! It was like the puck was on a string. So good in that position where you drag the defender in tight where they think they've got a real chance to stop the play. And then you make one more move. What a great play and a great finish. Seen him do this so many times. He makes the defender bite on that move, dangles around them, and then puts it away in the back of the net. White Bear Lake's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Grabs the puck at center. Here's an offensive chance. Hands. Picked up along the wall by Kachuk. Plays the puck up ahead. Sends it across. The Grizzlies gain control of the puck against the wall. This is point night. Everybody, it seems, is on the board with either a goal or an assist. And since it's not over, even if you don't have one, you've got a chance still. This game is going to have goals right until the final horn. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. As the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. After the icing, there's a little more pressure on the centerman to win the draw. The Grizzlies gain control. Put the the save. Turns it aside with the glove. He's got vision to see the play. Break away. Go on, boys. Oh, no, he's going to be disappointed with that effort, James. The goalie beats him cold. Inside of the... That's his second... Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck, and finally they're rewarded again. He's got them both. Vancouver's lamplighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Sends a pass over. Here he is in front. He scores! It's in! And that's three, Ray! I think he's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacted when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. Vancouver's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Nice job tying up his opponent. Oh, boy, here's trouble. Two on one. And he totally whiffs on it. He scores off the defender and into the net. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. He stick handled his way into that scoring chance, guys. That's his puck on a string superstar ability, and that dangle was the key to getting them on the board there. Oh, 
Wow, that, that's some hot sauce on that collision. Did it ever, James. I mean, you could see he was raring to get a hit in to try and change a little bit of the momentum, and the shoulder went into the player. That's a solid, clean hit. The Yellow Jackets really dictated the flow of this one right from the get-go tonight. Outstanding game for them. They skated well. They had the puck most of the time. They were able to dictate the way this game played. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.